Come on. Well, it was a ride home about a half dozen Pinecrest High School students will never forget. Their school bus was hit by gunfire when the bus stopped to let students off. Thanks for being with us. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Lena Tillette. This happened just seven miles from the high school near the intersection of Pine Bluff and Robert Sands Roads, just outside of Aberdeen. That's where our Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays caught up with investigators to get more details about what happened here. Well, I'm at the intersection where this happened. This is Robert Sands Road. It's a private road. And this is Pine Bluff Lake Road. Now, we're told that the bus had stopped over here to let kids out, and that's when the gunshots rang out. Francisco Ortiz lives near the intersection where the school bus was hit yesterday afternoon by bullets. He wasn't home when it happened, but says this isn't the first time he's heard gunfire outside his home. You can hear the gunshots, you know, but you don't know where they come from. They're back there, back there, back there, everywhere. Ortiz says his home was never been hit by bullets, but school bus number 53 from Pinecrest High School wasn't so lucky. It was dropping off students when several shots rang out. One bullet shattered a bus window. A bullet came through the passenger side about fourth, fourth row up from the rear of the bus, traveled into the interior of the bus and then lodged in the uh, roof line over on the driver's side. Moore County Schools is one of only two school systems in the state to have its own police force. The Moore County Sheriff's Office is assisting in the case. We're told investigators have three persons of interest, but so far, no arrests have been made. Investigators don't believe the school bus was targeted, but they took extra precautions during this morning's run. Uh, this morning, uh, another officer and myself escorted the same bus uh, through this area and out um, to ensure that the, everything was okay. So as you can see, there are not many homes out here, but police are asking anyone that has information, some video, or some knowledge of what happened out here to give them a call. In Moore County, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. And we're told there were five high school students on the bus and two adults at the time the shots were fired. Fortunately, no one was hurt.